Hello everybody and welcome back to another edition of VGL Designer Training. I'm your host, Jan Roman, and in this video what we're going to see is how we can synchronize the time that we have on the HMI using, for example, an external system, for example, a PLC or your laptop or something different. So let's go to the software. So we have different ways to synchronize the time on the HMI. Um, there is one way that I have left behind, which is the dialogue table that basically in the PLC or equipment that you add in the in the manager, you have the option to see this dialogue table and you have the possibility to add um, one of those registers to daily synchronize and change the time. But this part, I'm going to leave it behind. So. In this example, what I have done is I'm going to use the HMI as a master or um, client in a communication model, model TCP. So I have the server or a slave in order to read the data from the HMI to the target. So I can receive the parameters of the date and time and then update the HMI. The other option is, okay, I have the HMI then this HMI has the possibility to have some internal registers and the client that's going to be my PLC or system I'm going to write information to it for the HMI to update the values okay so that is the idea here so the first one is reading from the server so in this part what I'm going to do is to read the data the HMI is going to be like the master and my PLC is going to be the slave. So I'm going to read from the PLC the date and time and then update on the HMI. So let's go to that part. So uh, in this particular case, I'm using Visual Designer Air to connect to the PLC. Uh, this is the PLC that I'm connected with. So if I open this, HMI reading okay I'm reading this part so just minimize this so let's change a little bit so let's say there's gonna be 15 or the more three uh, 2020 hours gonna be eight minutes seven and second 30. so as soon as i change as soon as i change this because they are reading from this information from this area okay and the hmi have already configured those areas of memories to read from the hmi to the plc in my case so if we open this uh, Again, going to debug, write values. You can see that this has been updated. Now, in this particular case, I just update the values that I'm reading on the part of the HMI, but I haven't updated the date and time. So, in order to update that, we have an option. Uh, here, I have used like a bit in order to automatically do it but uh, what it does is to run a script and in particular case I put um, it's this one for the server so I have defined a periodic trigger every 60 seconds but you can change this uh, for five minutes or lower time and then I have a script. In this script, what I'm doing is to create some internal variables for days and time, and then read from the server, or the variables that I'm reading from the server, the date and time, date and time, and then use this function, sys.setDate and sys.setTime, in order to change the date and time on the HMI. So, 
if we go back here okay so I have a product so I have the option to manual update without using the auto sync this uh, auto sync so if I press this auto sync every 60 seconds it will update this so let's add this now we just need to wait uh, one minute okay there we go and it changed this so next time imagine that i'm going to change this 25 and month and this is our and to buy what to buy day six month 12 change okay now we just need to wait until this uh, thing works and then it will automatically change that based on the information that I'm receiving from the uh, from the PLC. Okay, in this particular case, I'm not reading the time, date, and time of the PLC because uh, I just didn't want to do. Just create some variables that I'm able to change. So let's see if it's changed this. And there we go. It just automatically changed this based on the data that I'm receiving from the PLC. Okay, so let's disable this auto sync back and now let's try to be the HMI as a server okay server uh, slash uh, slave so the system can send the data to the HMI and then this will be updated so I have different registers here, which is this one, HMI server. As you can see, I have HMI server, and this, in this case, VMS, but um, HMI server with different areas. So here, what I'm doing is to share from the PLC variables, the values that I want for this to change. If you take, pay attention here, I, just assign any other values here um, it does is not in the right order okay but it's the same it's going to work so the same can be applied here if you go to actions every 60 seconds here this one you can use lower values and using different variable enable auto sync but from the HMI next a script and in the script I'm using the same thing okay but um, different values okay the one that are internal for the PLC that have position okay so finish so if we go to the PLC now it's a different logic because I need to send the data so in order to send the data I'm using this ADDM and this right bar in order to send the data to the PLC and here I'm preparing the values for this buffer to send so if we take a look now here let's see how we can put this in a way so we can see it clear okay so uh, wrong place for the mouse and there we go much better now so all we need to do now is to go back and use this one date and time using HMI as server so these are the values that the PLC is going to send to the HMI so these values are the ones that I've been using for the GBL, but now I'm going to send it, not to request from the HMI to read it. So I'm going to send this data. Uh, I'm going to enable this part. And you can see it just update the values. So let's say time, is going, the year is going to be 2023. Uh, seconds is going to be seven. Let's just send this. You can see it changed that automatically because I'm sending information to the target. Okay. Uh, our 
Oops. Uh, sorry. And they say 28. Okay, so I'm doing something here. And months, which month is this? It's seven. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I'm sending the same information that I have on my laptop. Uh, except the time. This is going to be 10. Well, this is not going to be changed. So I have already used the manual update over here. So everyone can go and press this to update from the value of receiver or enable the auto sync. Uh, so I'm going to enable this from here from the system, from the PLC. There we go. This is enabled, and then every 60 seconds, this will be triggered the option. We just need to wait for this to update and it should be working. So let's wait for this. Now, there we go. It's just update date and time based on the information that I'm sending from the PLC. Okay, so these are two ways to oh, need to set it from here because it's overwrite with the information I'm sending. Okay, so let's go back here, and basically that's it. Um, so, um check if I forget something. The important thing here is to define the the gateways or the drivers that you want. One for the HMI to be the server. Okay. So you can assign these variables over here to be internal of the PLC of the HMI. And then the other one is for the server. In my case, it's called BMS. You can see over here. And I define these variables on the PLC just to the HMI to access to this information and then the important thing is the it's a script which is over here it's very simple just read the date and time and use these ones to change the HMI date and time so this is how we can change the date and time based on another device that we have on the network Okay, it can be via Mongo TCP or Mongo Serial. At least in these two examples, is for are for Mongo TCP using the M251 in this case. But as you can see, I'm not using the machine expert protocol, nothing at all. I'm using Mongo TCP, simple reading registers in one way, and then the, the other way when the HMI is the server in the communication. So this is it. Thank you very much for watching this video, and I see you on the next one. Thank you.